Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description below. I'll be extending the possibility to have the special sneak peek 2019 reading still available during the month of January. So if you would like to know more details about that or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Capricorn, I do feel like there's this very strong feeling for some of you being quite um, firmly connected with yourself, with your relationships. There's this steady energy that might be increasing as you go into 2019 and into this um, uh, beginning of January, I feel like there's this real strong foundation, assurance, stability being reinforced in certain things in your life that are really providing you with a sense of happiness and security, like joining both things in ways that I feel for some of you are quite favorable. I do feel like there's still, though, as you are building this stronger uh, connection with the self or feeling just more assured of yourself or what you are doing. Um, it might be that there's this challenge of uh, in the outer sphere, right? In the outer world, things moving quite fast or the de things developing in a faster way than maybe what you are expecting or things just taking a turn that's quite accelerated. And I feel like some of you are trying to maintain... Um, to maintain that same amount of balance that I was talking about while dealing with some hectic environments or situations that might even be unexpected. I feel like some of you might just be struck with um, information, uh, you know, contacts, uh, appearances that you're not planning, and they are kind of a test to that sense of steadiness, to that sense of um, calmness that you're trying to really um, hold on to and reinforce. Others of you, there's this sense of bright discovery. Something might be coming up, something might be revealed, something might be, you know, acknowledged or shown to you in the bright light and makes sense. It's like it, there are things in January that are kind of like um, connecting themselves to answers that some of you have been waiting for, especially especially for Capricorns that have been waiting, again, for confirmation of some sort or for contact, a contact through, you know, um, someone or an, an, an entity, a company, anything. I feel like you have been patiently waiting or feeling that that moment is kind of about to happen. And I feel like for some of you, it is. There's this acknowledgement of the Eight of Wands right in the center of your reading. So, indeed, things are moving fast. And there's quite a lot to do, quite a lot to say, quite a lot to manage, I feel, for you overall during the month. And this is, um, you know, an attribute. The management of all that you're dealing with is an attribute that it's blooming beautifully within you, as this is the Queen of Pentacles in the soul position. So there's more than a set of skills that you are equi equipped with during this month to work through situations in a very grounded, natural, almost effortless form. I feel like some of you, there's this effortless energy about the work or the investment, you know, of your energy to perfect things, to fix things, to make things happen. And there's this effortless um kind of flow of energy coming uh, from you that it's um, amazing and I think that it's going to result and manifest in you having uh, an emotional, successful life during this period of time. When I say emotional, successful life, it could be with you and your family, you um, and friends, you and the need to feel I feel uh, at peace 
with certain things you have been doing that involve you and others, or just feeling like um, you, you belong into a certain... Um, I feel like some of you are also in this energy of belonging, like belonging to a cause, to an idea, to uh, a place, to a relationship. There's a sense of just belonging um, in the month that it's also providing for some of you happiness, like feeling like you are in the right place with the right people in the right um, time. And the Ten of Cups is in the unconscious, so you might be driven during the month to encounter experiences that reflect that same um, emotional needs, to find bliss, to find happiness, to find successful results that are abundant, not just in the term of it in terms of material abundance, but also emotionally. I think that some of you are tying again material and spiritual abundance together and having beautiful um, results coming from that. Others of you, again, there's this energy of communication being as well quite important, and some of it is intuitive, some of it is things that you are sensing, picking on from your power of observation and kind of internalizing the experiences you're having and um, reaching deeper layers of knowledge uh, from them. I feel like you're very, 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 um, you know, attentive to attentive to what what's going on around you. You're picking up again on a lot of things. I feel like some of you, especially Capricorn female energy, are very, um, you know, you have your senses wide open and you're able to see things um, that lie beneath the surface. And from that, I think that you're being given again a lot of. Uh, advantage, let's say, or tools to lead the way in the ways you want or to have, again, the advantage in a certain situation where maybe you have felt that so far you didn't have that. Because, again, I keep getting the sense that some of you this month is all about assurance, feeling quite um, strong in who you are. And so from that, you know, steams a lot of experiences, like a lot of things are branching out from that root of trust in yourself and in your being. Some of you are discovering even parts of yourself that are amazing and that you have not uh, been in touch with. And that kind of, um, you know, that contact with deeper layers of the self for some of you are also, you know, exposing, let's say, what's what um, around you. So if there are things that are undermining the potential of happiness that you want to achieve, that you want to achieve and that you want to have in your life, you will be uh, clearly seeing that and then taking measures appropriately. I feel like uh, what's good in your life, what's good around you, people that are loving and supportive, they will even shine brighter to you during this month. And those that are not, where there's lies or there's something that's not really, you know, um, in sync with you, uh, I also feel like you will also see that quite well. And so some of you have a lot of that um, energy of being able to differentiate what during this month what's good, what's not, what's what has potential, what doesn't. Um, what you should say, what you shouldn't say. So again, you're very, it's like you are working through um, perfect timing within situations. And I feel like some of you do not expect yourselves to feel as, uh, as good as you will be feeling ahead or as capable as you will be feeling ahead. I feel like um, maybe some of you Capricorns have been dealing with situations where you have to, you know, had a lot of um, strength to defend yourself, your convictions, your ideas. I feel like some of you have been somehow, uh, some of you, some of you might have been somehow. Um, I don't know if it's threatened by, you know. 
outside forces that seem to be working against you, if you face criticism, if you face some sort of, you know, rivalry coming your way, envy. I just feel like some of you Capricorns have been um, directed, previously directed with a lot of, let's say, ha hasty energy that it's not, maybe has not been the most... Uh, the, the easiest one for you to deal with because maybe again it, 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 it led you to be far from that essence of the Queen of Pentacles maybe you didn't know how to deal with those unwanted situations or energies or people and I feel like whatever you have been feeling in, in this advantage of that is uh, kind of changing and I also feel like some of you are quite you're going to show um, a part of you that it's quite brave in facing situations again head on. If you have been somehow afraid to set some plans in motion, I feel like January is a great month to set them in motion to make things happen. Especially for Capricorns that this is about work or career, I feel like your 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 work and your even your finance financial um, life and status can improve quite a lot not only in January but during the the, the year um, if you set things uh, in action if you put things you know working if you lay too low or you wait around too much or you let yourself be wrapped around you know a lot of doubts and insecurities that is going to be um, somehow heavily reflected in you achieving the things you want professionally. I feel like there's wide open doors for you to um, have amazing experiences ahead, in particular, again, in your profession. Um, something about your profession, Capricorn, is providing happiness and welfare. And I feel like it's a matter of you, again, stepping up to that position of trust, to that position of knowing that some of you have inside but maybe you have been shying away from um, showing it maybe due to the fact that some of you Capricorns know that um, you will face some sort of uh, trouble some some sort of um, you know attention that maybe you are you know sensing that might not be the best one um, but it's like, you need, if you're not happy with how your life has been and what you have been doing so far, you have to dare to do things differently. Or there's this energy being presented, presented as the possibility of success coming from taking risks that are actually risks that are well calculated because they come from a place of um, a set, let's say, a, a very strong set of skills that you have is not I feel like some of you are afraid to take risks but actually those risks are very calculated and you have everything to win in that path as um, as your competence and your efficiency to make things happen for Capricorns that still feel quite at odds with themselves this might be a month where you've been called to balance that to balance the relationship with the self and to promote the best one possible changing some of your habits or some of your negative talk or your tendency to be um, too much in the passive state because even for Capricorns that this is um, just about you, you know, not feeling the best about somehow for some reason not feeling the best inside, internally. It could be that your energy is somehow stuck. You need to move. So you need to engage yourself, to push yourself, to do things that set your uh, internal life in motion you know it's like letting here the fire within so things start to um you know move and uh, you know gradually become better than and make yourself feel better as well than what you have been um because i feel like some of your capricorns have places um let's say internal spots uh that are congested and they need flow, they need circulation, so actual physical movement, um, or just, you know, being, you know, um, very involved, actively involved um, in the things you like to do, participate as well um, with uh, with others in, 
in activities that are just for the fun, that are just for the leisure, the pleasure that you take out of them. Because I feel like for some Capricorns, your relationships are also important here in January. Like, you might not see initially as them being a priority, but uh, again, the Indian conscious, they actually are. They are going to... I feel like some of you have demands coming from family or loved ones, um, people that are going to, again, reach out to you and kind of give you that, um, maybe that understanding from their side that somehow they have been feeling that, that you are absent and you, yeah, and you are needed. I also feel like some of you are going to have that notion that you are needed and you are much loved than maybe what you have been feeling as but there's a lot of affectionate gestures coming up here for you and i think that for capricorns not only in january but also in the end of december uh, celebrating of course your solar return this uh, solar return can be uh, one that uh, promises a lot of happiness during this um, year ahead so I hope you have a great month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully, we'll see each other soon.